The Panama Canal Zone, a 553-square-mile area surrounding the strategic waterway, played a pivotal role in the global conflict of World War II. The U.S. Navy's involvement in this region not only facilitated the movement of naval forces between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, but also provided a crucial defense against Axis aggression. The strategic importance of the Panama Canal Zone was well understood even before the outbreak of World War II. As a vital link connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, the canal enabled the rapid movement of naval assets and merchant shipping between the two major theaters of war. Recognizing its significance, the United States had established a strong military presence in the region, with the U.S. Navy playing a key role in the defense and administration of the Canal Zone. Upon the entry of the United States into World War II following the attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941, the U.S. Navy's responsibilities in the Panama Canal Zone were further expanded. The U.S. Atlantic Fleet and U.S. Pacific Fleet were both crucial to the war effort, and the efficient operation of the canal became a top priority for the Navy. It was responsible for ensuring the safe passage of warships, troop transports, and vital supplies, while also preventing any potential attacks on the canal itself. To bolster the defense of the Panama Canal Zone, the U.S. Navy established the 15th Naval District in 1942, which was headquartered in Balboa. This command oversaw the operations and security of the canal, with responsibilities ranging from the protection of the waterway to the coordination of regional naval forces. The 15th Naval District also worked closely with the U.S. Army, which was responsible for the ground-based defense of the region, as well as the Army Air Forces, which provided aerial surveillance and support. A key component of the U.S. Navy's efforts in the Panama Canal Zone was the creation of a network of coastal defense installations, which included naval air stations, submarine bases, and anti-submarine warfare facilities. These installations were designed to detect and deter any enemy naval forces that might attempt to disrupt the canal's operations or launch an attack on the zone. In addition to defensive measures, the U.S. Navy also played a vital role in the training and preparation of naval forces that would be deployed to both the European and Pacific theaters of the war. The Panama Canal Zone was a major hub for the transit of personnel and equipment, and the Navy made full use of the area's resources to prepare and stage its forces for deployment. Throughout the course of World War II, the U.S. Navy's presence in the Panama Canal Zone remained a deterrent to Axis aggression. While the region did not experience direct combat, it played a critical role in the overall war effort by enabling the efficient movement of naval forces between the two major theaters of the conflict. Furthermore, the Navy's tireless efforts to protect the canal and maintain its smooth operation ensured that the United States and its allies were able to effectively project power across the globe. The U.S. Navy's involvement in the Panama Canal Zone during World War II was instrumental in ensuring the successful prosecution of the war. By safeguarding this strategic waterway, the Navy facilitated the rapid movement of military assets between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, bolstered the defense of the region, and played a crucial role in the training and deployment of forces for combat. The significance of the Panama Canal Zone in the overall war effort cannot be overstated, and the U.S. Navy's role in its protection and administration was of paramount importance. Did you serve at the Panama Canal Zone? Please share your experiences in the comments below.
waited before. I know that it's you. If you knock at my door, I know you're around by the sound of my pounding heart. I see a million faces, but all I can see is you. A million little traces keep bringing. Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Oh, my God.